Hey and welcome back guys, this is your Maya Sensei speaking. In this lesson we're going we're to start talking about the Quadraw tool. And so this tool, just to kind of give you a little bit of a background, is giving you the functionality of drawing faces or polygons directly off of a mesh. So it's extremely useful for retopologizing. And then some, some additional features that I will go through um, throughout the process. So we've got a little character that I'm currently busy with. I'm busy designing it. And so I just thought that this might be a great use to demonstrate how this tool works. So the first thing we want to do is we want to grab our mesh and we want to go to the make live button over here at the top. And this is going to essentially allow us to place polygons directly along the surface normals of the geometry. So then once we have that set up, we can then go to the mesh tools and we can go to the quad draw tool and we can start drawing directly on the surface. Another quick way to have access to this tool can either be through the modeling toolkits, if you go down to the quad draw functionality over here, or another alternative is to shift right click and quad draw. So once it's active, you're essentially placed in a mode where you can place single vertex or dots or representations of where the dots will be. So I'm going to start clicking away on this mesh just to kind of indicate some of these concepts. So one, two, three, four. And I'm just placing some points that represent vertices. Then I'm going to hold down shift. I'm going to place this point down. You can see how this starts following the surface normals of the mesh. So it's going to start sticking to it. And every time I add some extra points, it just allows me to extend further along this path. So one thing to, to mention though, uh, that's worth kind of noting is that when your object is live, it's sometimes very difficult to actually see through uh, what's actually happening with the, the new polygons that you're drawing. So I'm going to show you guys a nice technique or uh, tip that's useful within this uh, modeling workflow. Um, I'm going to hit, um, let's say, go to the move tool, any of your selection tools, just to escape out of the quad draw. I'm then going to go um, out of live mode, reselect my surface, and then under object mode or object under the modeling toolkit, you can go and turn on X-ray. That will only make the selected object go in X-ray mode. And that just makes the, the polygons a lot more accessible and easy to see. So then we're going to go back through the same process of making it live again. You can reselect your last polygons that you've worked off of, and you can go back into Quadraw and keep drawing your faces. So it's quite an easy and simple little tool to place some points. However, there's a lot of un known features or things that most people don't know about. So I'm going to go through that for you guys so you can see how this works. So in the, the Quadro tool, you'll see there is an extra setup keyboard and mouse shortcuts. And then we can go through there and just kind of see those um, if you want to read them up. However, I'm just going to go through them with you guys so we can see exactly um, how they work. So the first thing that I would like to do is maybe show you guys, if you hold down control, you're essentially allowing to insert some sort of a loop going through that. So it's very much acting like the multi-cut tool over here. So I'm gonna hold down control and then just click once and that will automatically try and follow the surface normals and adjust the profile accordingly. So that is super useful. You can also, drag these vertices and as soon as they line up with another vertex they will collapse and then merge down to a single point so you can do that for the whole loop you can also delete certain faces if you hold down control and shift you can then click and delete the components that you would like to remove then we have a control key um, let me add some extra polygons through this so that you can see how this works. I'm just going to make sure I'm back in that quad draw. I think I went out there. So I'm going to extend these by clicking and dragging directly on the surface. And you'll see how this tries to wrap around the surface curvature. So let me just pull this back a bit. Waiting for my 
might respawn there. Slide that over. So what I'm gonna do now is just again add those extra polygons. Maybe slide some of these edges over. And what's nice about the shift key by itself, it allows you to relax these polygons. So they're sliding along that surface normal of the live object. And it just tries to adjust the edges so that it maintains a nice even quad uh, flow, or at least trying to make your polygons more square throughout that form. So that's the control key, the shift key, and the control shift key uh, within this quad roll. So another extra set of tools that's extremely useful is you can hold on tab um, and then start drawing a polygon directly off of the surface normals and it will always make the polygons the size of that initial square. So I'm going to undo this. Let's uh, take all those polygons out there. Um, so if you hold on tab and you middle mouse click, you can actually increase and decrease the size of this. So that's also a nice way of drawing out polygons. You can hold down tab, make sure your mouse is going the direction you want to start drawing. And then it just allows you to place those polygons accordingly. However, it's not always exactly the way you want. So you might have to go back and do some manual tweaks across this. So something along those lines. And I'm going to line it up more or less like that. I'm going to divide this twice once and twice and then we can use the shift key to start bridging these again just to fill the gaps across there right so now we have some of this i'm going to show you guys another way of approaching it if we hold down tab and then middle uh, right mouse button we actually have a marking menu that pops up where you can actually choose how you want to have this quadro tool function like if you want to have the auto lock uh, for the relaxing, do you want to extend a single edge? Do you want to extend a loop or a border edge? I'm going to go through that and show you guys how it works. So let's say we want to grab the single edge. We can hold down tab and then we can click and drag this edge. And this does basically like an edge extrusion for us. So that's quite useful. And if you want to extend a whole loop section that goes through a certain part of the mesh, you can hold on tab, you can hold on right mouse button and then go to loop. And whenever we hover over that edge, it's going to auto detect up to where it starts changing direction. And then we can do an edge extension. And this will again try and follow the surface normals as much as it can to try and help you out capturing the essence or the, the volume of the model. Right, so those are the most basic functions. So it's just a matter of going through, let's say maybe some of these relax, we can say relax interior vertices, border edges and all vertices. So you see at the moment it says auto lock. So this auto lock simply means that when we hold down the shift key to do a relax, any internal border edges are being affected but because we didn't start off on a border edge, it will respect the fact that they are not being selected. And even if you try and hover over that, it will not allow it to, to uh, relax those vertices because it locked to the internal vertices. However, if we do start on the, the border edges, it will respect that, but it will not do that to the internal border edges. So that's what the auto lock function does. However, if you want to have it affect all vertices, you can always set it to that. And that will help you with, um, you know, just relaxing every vertex on the mesh. So I just wanted to cover that for you guys. So you have a general idea of how this tool works. Go check it out. It's really, really fantastic. I hope to see you guys in the next one. And um, please take care. If you guys like the video, please subscribe below. Make sure you click on that bell button. And I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.